We're just hours away from NASA's 82nd space shuttle launch and the 22nd flight of the orbiter Discovery with a crew of seven astronauts. Liftoff is planned at 3.55 a.m. Eastern Time, which is the opening of a 65-minute launch window. This is shuttle launch control at T-minus three hours and holding. We're standing by. We do have live coverage now of the crew getting suited up. We have Commander Ken Bowersox. This is his fourth flight. He has been an astronaut for about 10 years. And Bowersox will have overall responsibility for commanding the flight. He was the pilot for the first Hubble servicing mission back in 1993. And we have pilot Horowitz. As pilot, he will assist Bowersox at the flight controls. This is his second flight. He will assist Bowersox during the rendezvous and retrieval of the Hubble Space Telescope on flight day three, and also with the reboosting of Hubble if available fuel permits, and of course with the shuttle landing, the night landing that's planned here at KSC. And we have mission specialist Mark Lee taking a brief rest. Mark Lee's making his fourth flight. And we see heart-shaped balloons in the uh, crew quarters, obviously for the upcoming Valentine's Day. Across the room, we've got the rest of the crew. Mission Specialist Joe Tanner. Tanner's making his second flight. He will be, this will be his first spacewalk. He'll be teaming up with Greg Harbaugh in replacing one of the three fine guidance sens sensors on Hubble during the second EVA. He will also help replace the optical electronics enhancement kit and a failed engineering and science tape recorder. On flight day four, the team will replace the solar dri array drive electronics. And we've got uh, Mission Specialist Steve Hawley. Hawley's making his uh, fourth flight today. He's serving as the flight engineer and will assist the commander and pilot with ascent and reentry checklists and in monitoring the vehicle systems. Hawley used the robot arm to deploy Hubble on STS-31 back in 1990. And we have a Mission Specialist Greg Harbaugh. He's making his fourth flight. He will be teamed up with Joe Tanner to perform two of the spacewalks. Harbaugh performed a spacewalk on STS-54 and was the backup EVA crew member for the first Hubble servicing mission. And we have Mission Specialist 5, Steve Smith, making his second flight. He'll be a first-time spacewalker on this flight. He'll be teamed up with Mark Lee in replacing the two instruments that have a combined weight of about 1,500 pounds. Crew is just riding the elevator down the uh, down three flights to ground floor, where they've got a crowd of uh, news media members and also employees who will be wishing them well. We do have some dramatic views of the final inspection team on the uh, very top part of the mobile launcher platform that is known as the zero level. We can see the aft booster skirt. 
Uh, also, uh, in the foreground here, we've got the, the uh, large tail service mast, and of course, some dramatic views of the vapor as it's uh, boiling off uh, through the main engine nozzles. OTC. Go ahead and ask OTC. Go ahead. I'm just going to give you a step to egress the crew module and verify ready for hatch closure. CTD and uh, CFCP adjust fuel cell loads to between 250 and 290 amps. CTD copies. That's the copy. Range weather on 2-12. Launch director, this is range weather. We have no constraints violated at this time. A copy, you go. Is that correct, John? Confirmed it. All right. Uh, mission management team. Uh, Jim, the uh, MMT is working. No issues. You're clear to launch. Copy that. And uh, Discovery, uh, Ken, you and the team have a great mission and uh, do some good uh, Hubble upgrades. We'll see you back here in uh, 10 days. All right, Jim, thanks for the good wishes. We sure appreciate all the hard work that went into getting Discovery and our uh, payload ready for launch. I think uh, with a little luck, in a couple of weeks, the best telescope in the universe will be even better than it is now. And NTD, you're clear to launch. Copy, thank you. Just a few seconds, the orbiter access arm will be attracted away from the orbiter's crew module, and uh, that event is happening. The arm can be re-extended in just a few seconds, if necessary. T-minus seven minutes and counting. Now pressurizing the external tank for flight. PLT OTC, clear caution and warning memory. Verify no unexpected errors. No unexpected errors, I'm sorry. And the gaseous oxygen uh, vent hood. Uh, Heater reconfigure complete. Copy that. The gaseous oxygen vent hood at the top of the tank is being retracted away at this time. Every OTC, close and lock your visors. Initiate O2 flow. T minus 35 seconds. T minus 15 seconds and counting. All systems go. T minus 10, 9, 8, Seven. We have a go for engine start. Five, four, three, two, one. Ignition and liftoff. Discovery now on its way to service NASA's Hubble Space Telescope. Houston now controlling. We're all programmed, Houston. Roger roll, Discovery. Roll maneuver is complete aboard Discovery. The vehicle's now in a heads-down position on course for a 28 and a half degree, 309 nautical mile orbit. Three main engines uh, beginning to throttle down now as the orbiter prepares to pass through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower atmosphere. The three engines now at 67 percent of rated thrust. The solid rocket boosters beginning to uh, tail off with their chamber pressure, standing by for burnout and separation of the uh, twin solid rocket boosters. SRB separation is confirmed. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Discovery is now downrange from the launch site of 40 miles at an altitude of 35 miles.
ET LO2 pressurization. Vents open. Copy vents. T zero SRV ignition. Liftoff confirmed. Copy liftoff. We're all program using. Flight guidance to see the roll. Copy good roll. For pressed ATO, mark it. Curry, pressed ATO. Pressed ATO. Negative return. Negative return. Negative return. Discovery. Roger, Mark. We think we've done uh, the survey as required uh, using the arm. Uh, you probably saw some of it, hopefully a lot of it. If there's anything that you'd like to see you didn't see, we can get that for you. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and uh, do RMS power down. Copy, Dr. Steve. We'll check very quickly with uh, payloads and get back to you. 
Okay, no hurry. Cryo O2, manifold valve tank 2 to open. Talk back open. That's complete. Morning, Discovery. It's the day to go grab yourself a telescope. Hey, good morning, Chris. I guess it is about that time. Discovery Houston, uh, we have target peg, se uh, peg seven targets for the NPC two burn on their way up, and we have the maneuver pad numbers for you when you're ready.
Switching views now to the color end effector camera. This uh, looking directly at the uh, bottom of the telescope as it comes into view. Discovery. Yeah, I wish you could see the expression on Dr. Stevie's face. Looks like he just shook hands with an old friend. And uh, we watched it from down here, Socks. It was certainly an absolute thrill for us to see it on television. And uh, congratulations to all of you for uh, an outstanding rendezvous and a great capture. We're looking forward to uh, getting out there and starting to work on that telescope. As uh, Discovery and the Hubble Space Telescope uh, move off the east coast of Florida, the uh, uh, spacecraft are now moving into uh, an orbital sunrise. And the Hubble Space Telescope is now uh, firmly in the uh, berthing latches. The uh, sequence will be to close the latches uh, one at a time. Discovery. Okay, we've got uh, Lats and Madop complete. Uh, we're going to ungrapple, and as soon as we do that, we're going to go to attitude. Okay, copy, Mark. We're watching. Got a good picture.
Good morning, Discovery. Time for the first two princes to go a little work outside. All right, we're ready to go fix that thing. Hey, and uh, I got a compliment to you on the beautiful selection of got music so far. You can see the placement now of uh, Nick Moss and that angle iron, that right angle guide rail at the bottom right. Steve Smith is looking down the upper left hand corner and aligning that rail. Pitch me five more degrees, Greg. Pitching five more, that, that would give you 20. Okay. Steve Smith uh, now uh, making the final installation of the Nick Moss into the uh, into the uh, aft shroud of the Hubble Space Telescope with assistance from Mark Lee uh, operating the shuttle's robot arm is uh, Greg Harbaugh who will be uh, one of the spacewalkers on the uh, second and fourth EVAs. Okay, um, Discovery, why don't you uh, try one more time with the nominal setting, and if that doesn't work, then use the manual 38 like you did on the uh, bottom bolt to start it. 
Okay, that's what we'll do. Get my attitude right. Discover Houston, if cameras Alpha and Charlie are not in use at this time, we'd like to take them off and cool them down. That's complete. Do you have your hands where you're going to keep them? Yes. And you need to go forward another foot. Forward a foot. And we're following you into the external airlock. Fantastic. Time to see you come out on the beginning of your very first EVA. Welcome to space, and uh, it was nice seeing a big smile on your face. Have a good one.
you a reflection of uh, Joe Tanner and uh, Greg Harbaugh in the telescope's aft shroud as uh, the uh, Earth clearly in view behind them. The uh, orbiter has uh, reached the midpoint of the 60th orbit of the mission. Uh, halfway uh, uh, through the 60th orbit of the mission, just about to cross the equator, uh, traveling southeasterly across Central Africa. Mark, we're just commenting on that. Houston for Steve. Go ahead. Yeah, some more good news. The OCE aliveness test is uh, successfully completed. Wow. How about that for real time feedback? And, okay, uh, good news. Okay, uh, that's, that's good, Dr. Stevie. Stop. And discovery for Steve uh, when, uh, when an opportunity presents itself during the solar array slew, we'd appreciate. Uh, some uh, feedback on the appearance of the MLIs in bays one, two, three, and four. Guys like Oscar and Keith have trained us so well. Like we need to wait to 
uh, Steve gets there before I bring you down. I have it. Keep coming forward. Okay, forward. Okay, let's go back up to the bay. Okay, going back up, Mark. Houston Discovery for EVA. Go ahead, JT. Okay, do uh, you guys have KU now? It looks like uh, one of Doc's patented uh, uh, extenders, so uh, we have absolutely no concern. Yeah, we think we can. We think we can tow a trailer with it. We agree. Uh, Greg, since we can't really see. 
see the connectors on Sadie too. Can you come up and pan down? There you go. Hold it right there also. Discovery Houston, we've been watching from the ground, and everybody is marveling at uh, Greg's uh, superb skills in putting that uh, blanket. It looks really great. We haven't seen the top one, but that one looks fabulous. Good view right there. Oh, okay. One of these close-up shots. Zoom in over there or something. About the right height? It does. Alright, take me down. Going down. Okay, now you can adjust your tensions. Houston with some word on RWA. Go ahead. We just completed a test on reaction wheel number two. It's uh, good. Checks out just fine. Oh, well, great. That's good news. So we're going to go ahead and uh, press with our plan here for a reboost to kick off at one hour, 33 minutes. 
Okay, we'll uh, get set up to kick off reboost at 1.33. Some kind of server is a stage ship, and it's been moved to the church. Sense is minus Z. So the first step is going to be the item 16 and flight controller power, Scotty. That's correct, Zach. The only way to get rid of it is shoot straight through the window. Yeah, and you put the lens against yeah, the window, yeah, so hopefully it'll come out right. Can we is it yeah, searching yeah. back there, Scotty? What? Is it searching the radar? Yeah, good work, guys. Just yeah. head over yet, yeah, I guess. Teamwork. Doc. Wow. Good job. <laughs> Gotta get set two done. I'm oh, sure glad to see that first pulse in the right direction. Yeah. <laughs> Five, see? There's the back window. And there's the cargo bay of the space shuttle. And we're just having a sunrise. It's really beautiful up here in space to see sunrise. How's, how's Hale Bop looking for you guys? Hell, Bob looks great. And matter of fact, we downlinked some video this morning of it uh, from our perspective. Uh, the TV cameras don't really do it justice. In the binoculars that we carry on board, it's uh, it's uh, very spectacular. Check this, I think. Flight control power off. Yep. You did two yeah, one. Push one. Pulse, pulse, pulse. DDUs as required. I guess we can oh, turn it on. Want to take the DDUs out? Um, yeah, you can put the pulse or the Save a little trial. Thirty-nine, forty-one. Relative, thirty-nine. 
out the windows. I didn't get that very close. View looking east from the Mission Control Center as Discovery streaks through the atmosphere 10,400 miles per hour. Twin sonic booms announce the arrival of Discovery into the landing area. Time to touch down, three minutes. Main gear touchdown. Nose gear touchdown. Discovery rolling out on runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center, completing 150 orbits, traveling 4.1 million miles, ending the second sub servicing mission to the Hubble Space Telescope. Copy, will stop. Discovery, welcome back after a successful second Hubble servicing mission. You made those five spacewalks look real easy, and we have no post-landing deltas. Pick up on page 5-3. All right, Kevin, we'll get over to 5-3. Discovery Houston on L2, we'd like nose wheel steering off, please. All right, Kevin, thanks. Commander Ken Bowersox uh, continuing along with other crew members uh, to uh, press through the post-landing uh, activities, preparing uh, Discovery for the uh, ground operations team. Discovery's uh, 22nd voyage in space uh, is the sixth straight landing at the uh, Kennedy Space Center, the 13th out of the last 14 that have returned to the launch site. 